dear friend welcome to the lecture series in probability theory and stochastic processes in this video lecture we try to solve two problems which were asked in jntu hyderabad university so let us take the first question and the question says let x be a continuous random variable with a density function given as fx of x equals to x over 9 plus k and that is defined between the values 0 to 6 and 0 otherwise and we need to find the value of k and another one we need to find the probability of the random variable which is defined between 2 to 5 and it was asked in jntu h in 2011 so let us go to the solution so here the first question is find the value of k so whenever the problem says to find the value of k we have to use the property of the probability density function which says that integration over minus infinity to infinity fx of x dx equals to 1 so this says that the area under the curve of the probability density function is equals to 1 so this particular property is very much helpful in order to find out the value of a constant which is present in the given function right so here the limits minus infinity to infinity are for the probability density function so as per the given question if you try to substitute that so integral x over 9 plus k dx and the limits are here given as 0 to 6 so those limits we have to put here so 0 to 6 which is equals to 1 now we have to evaluate this one over the uh, over the limits 0 to 6 so here it becomes x square by 2 into 9 that becomes 18 plus k and we will be having the integration value as x and the limits are from 0 to 6 which will be equals to 1 right so now we try to substitute the values for this so the upper limit is 6 so it becomes 6 square by 18 plus k and it is 6 and later we have to substitute the lower limit and the lower limit is 0 so even if we substitute the 0 in the place of x the value becomes 0 so we are not writing that so now it will be equals to 1 here so here it is 36 over 18 plus it is 6k equals to 1 so 18 ones and 2s becomes 36 so it will be 2 plus 6k equals to 1 then 6k equals to 1 minus 2 which is equals to minus 1 so now k will be minus 1 over 6 so this is the value of k here now we can keep the value of k in the given function which is stated in the question so therefore the probability density function fx of x equals to x over 9 plus k now k value is minus 1 over 6 and it is defined between the limits 0 less than or equals to x less than or equals to 6 and 0 otherwise so this is the modified function and it is the probability density function and second one we need to calculate the probability of the random variable x which is uh, defined between 2 to 5 so the probability of set of the random variables right and which is defined between the limits 2 to 5 right so for this uh, we know the probability distribution function fx of x equals to probability of set x less than or equals to x which will be equals to integral minus infinity to infinity fx of x dx right so in the same way uh, we are going to use uh, the function which is written here so now this becomes integral 2 to 
and the function fx of x we already obtained that is x over 9 minus 1 by 6 dx right so now we have to integrate this one so it becomes x square uh, 2 into 9 that becomes 18 minus x over 6 and the limits are from 2 to 5. Now we have to substitute the upper limit as well as the lower limit. So when we substitute the upper limit in place of x it becomes 5 square over 18 minus 5 over 6. Now we have to substitute the lower limit here the lower limit is 2. So minus of, we need to substitute the lower limit. So in place of x, when we substitute lower limit, it becomes 2 square over 18 minus, and it is 2 over 6 now. Okay. So when we uh, simplify this one, we get 25 over 18 minus 5 over 6 minus 4 over 18 minus uh, minus into minus plus so this is plus then it is 2 over 6 right so when we simplify this the value that we can get is 2 over 3 which will be equals to 0 0.667 so now the value is 0 0.667 for the probability of the random variable which is defined between 2 to 5 now let us go to the another problem which was asked in 2010 as well as 2015. So here x be a continuous random variable with density function fx of x equals to k and which is defined between a and b and 0 otherwise. We need to find out the value of k and also we need to find out the probability of the random variable x which is less than or equals to c. And the C value is provided as 1.5. So let us go to the solution, right? So let us write the function, density function first. So fx of x equals to k and it is defined between a small a less than or equals to capital X less than or equals to B and zero otherwise. Correct? Now we need to find the value of k. So to find the value of k, which is unknown in the given density function, then to find the value of k, we need to use the property of the probability density function, such as integral minus infinity to infinity, fx of x dx equals to 1. That means the area under the curve of the probability density function will be equal to 1. So now the limits of this probability density function here given as a and b. So the function will be evaluated from the limits a to b and the fx of x value is k now and dx equals to 1. So now when we integrate this one, we get kx equals to kx and the limits are a to b and equals to 1 here. So now when we substitute the upper limit as well as the lower limit in place of x, then we get k upper limit that is b minus lower limit that is a equals to 1. So therefore, k value will be 1 over b minus a. So this is the value of k in the given question. Right? Now, we go to the second part. So the second part, we have to consider the values for A and B as 1 and 2 respectively. And also the value of C is given that is 1.5. So therefore, in the second part, let A equals to 1 and B equals to 2. So in this case, therefore, we can get K value as 1 over B minus A, that is 1 over 2 minus 1, which will be equals to 1. So now the value of K is 1. So therefore, the probability density function fx of x equals to 1, which is defined between 1 and 2, and it is 0 otherwise. 
be zero otherwise right now we need to find uh, the probability of the random variable x as per the given question so here we need to find we need to find the probability set mod x less than or equals to c right and here the value of c is given as 1.5 so at c 1.5 we need to calculate so at c equals to 1.5 is so probability of this mod x less than or equals to 1.5 can be written as probability of see when a random variable or anything is given in mod then it takes minus and plus values right so in that case we can write it is between minus 1.5 less than or equals to x less than or equals to 1.5 again we can use the formula which we have used while uh, solving the first problem right so now the limits are from uh, minus 1.5 to 1.5 but we know this function is different from 1 to 2 if you go beyond or uh, below 1 the value will be 0 see the lower limit is 1 here and it is starting from minus 1.5 right so from minus 1.1 to .1, the value will be 0 so we are not taking that and also above 1.5 we, we don't need to calculate because the limits are mentioned as 1.5 even though the function is defined uh, above 1.5 but as per the question we need to calculate that function up to 1.5 only right so below 1 we are not taking the values so 1 and above 1.5 also we are not going to consider the value so up to 1.5 only we are considering so integral 1 to 1.5 and that given function so that is fx of x dx right so here we can write as integral 1 to 1.5 fx of x dx value is 1 as per uh, the function that we solved and dx so here it is x when we integrate that constant 1 as uh, you know x then the limits are 1 to 1.5 so here it is 1.5 that is the upper limit minus the lower limit that is 1 and the value that we can get is 0 0.5 so therefore the probability for the set of the random variable x right so which is defined as mod x less than or equals to 1.5 will be equals to 0 0.5 right hope you understood how to solve the uh, problems as per the uh, given question in uh, j into examination and you can give uh, your suggestions in the comment section so that i can make some more videos which are helpful for your j and examinations thanks for watching